my imaginary friends. You know, now when I think of it, I'm really beginning to think that you are imaginary, whoever you are watching this video. The reason that I've, I've sort of became less keen on making YouTube videos is because I've never had so many real friends in my life before. It sounds kind of pathetic, but like, hear me out. I'm the kind of person who who lies in bed all day thinking about stuff. You know, that's that's my idea of a perfect day. I would just lie in bed, read books, look at myself in the mirror, go back to my bed, read some more books, think about more stuff, and bam, that's like my idea of a very nice day. Um, and suddenly, like after I came here, I, I'm just my life is just filled with activities and invitations and lunch dates and I. I don't know. I'm very overwhelmed. So sorry, my imaginary friends. I'm, I'm back here again, making videos. Yay! I spent New Year's Eve in the German frat house. And, and b before you say anything, no, it's, it's not what you think, okay? There was no orgy, there was no hazing ritual, there's no... Well, no. The reason that I actually spent New Year's Eve in the German frat house is because I knew this French girl who has a friend who is German who happens to belong to a frat. So we got invited over for New Year's Eve and we went and we shared a room. And um, yeah, it was an interesting experience. It was the first time that I've ever set foot in a frat house before. So sorry, I can't make any comparisons with North American frat houses, but I just know that apparently in German people's mind, frat boys are Nazis. That's one thing that I learned. I also learned that when Hitler took power, he pretty much confiscated all the frat houses. And yeah, um, what am I even talking about? So we had this big party on the ground floor. By the way, they have a ballroom in the ground floor, so the party we had had 40 people. So it's pretty huge and the theme was Oscar and I, so everyone dressed up as their favorite movie character. And like at the end, we, we vote for the best costume and um, <laughs> toward midnight, everyone was pretty drunk. There was a specific award for most drunk before midnight, but yeah, I didn't win that one. I was pretty sober the whole time. I went to bed early because it was just like, you know, it got a little out of my taste. After midnight, there were like people pissing off the balcony and things got a little wild. And I was so overwhelmed with so much stimuli and I was just telling myself, no, I need to lie down, go to my bed and relax. So I, I went to bed early. Yay, Lucy. Being assertive. Whoa. Yeah, and then the next day, we kind of just walked around Stuttgart. Um, saw the city center and the residence of the the king and it was it was pretty interesting i wish i took more photos if we didn't spend so much time drinking i would have brought my camera along but no sorry no photos the food was pretty nice though i finished all my exams last week and um they weren't quite what I expected. I'm pretty sure I didn't fail anything, but still, I don't think I did perfect on any one of them either. There was no multiple choice on the exams, bummer. Um, all the questions were short answer, and the dumbest thing was the professors before the exams, they, they didn't they didn't tell us what was going to be covered, so you have about like 13 topics to cover and on the exams there's like there's like three three questions it was just so random okay i was so angry i spent so much time during the holidays revising double revising re-revising and all of that for nothing i could have i could have had some more fun i could have taken a trip to normandy or something but instead i was stuck in my room studying for like all these subjects and Wow, I don't know, I'm so angry. I'm so angry, but I'm also glad it's, it's all over. And for those of you who might be curious about what my exams are, there were um, two or no, three oral presentations, two before um, Christmas break and one after, I think all of which, all of which I did pretty well on, despite my broken French. 
and all my other exams are just um, written ones. And here's here's how I manage to um, do all of them in French. I put all my answers in bullet points, which to some extent hides my crappy level of French. But I did manage to write everything in French, which was good. I, I'm very proud of myself. But then, you know, when I was handing in my paper and I saw like all my all my classmates, they were writing like long paragraphs of complete sentences and I look at mine, they're like little um, bullet points and I felt kind of inferior. I feel like the profs are gonna judge me for writing my answers in bullet point. They can't take my marks off, can they? So today I made a very impromptu visit to the Collège de France, which if you guys don't know is a college, university that's open to the public. You don't have to um, apply to the college. It's, it's basically like a huge um, arena for, for top academics to, to display their work and anyone can go in and listen. That, this is what I like about friends. You know, arts, art and culture is open to everybody. It's so accessible. So um, today I, I didn't know what to do. Um, I didn't have any class, so I um, invited one of my friends to join me. We didn't I had no idea what we were doing, and we walked past um, the college, and I suddenly remembered, oh right, they offer free lectures. So we went in, and um, there was this professor who was giving a lecture on Egyptian pottery and how to classify them, and so it was it was kind of cool anyway they're they're more interesting topics um i decided to make this a regular visit because you do learn a lot and then you i don't know it's very exciting i mean i've been watching videos of college de france even before i came here but to actually go inside the lecture hall and to like see everything exactly as it is in the videos that was just so cool. I, I can't believe that I actually did this. Uh, it was so much fun. So my exams have ended, but so did my winter holidays. <sighs> Before the winter holidays, I went to the library and I borrowed a bunch of books. And if you know me, whenever I go to some place, any place with books, I'm like a little kid in a, in a candy shop. and. Normally what I do is I borrow a whole bunch of books knowing full well that I won't be able to finish all of them. So I take the books home and then I don't read them and I wait until the due date or even past the due date and I'm like crap I need to return them so I, you know, I always um, spend a lot of money on library fines. So I brought my books back to the school library today but surprisingly the librarian didn't ask me to pay. I'd like to think it's because of my contagious smile. Not really, no. But yeah, it's like the first time I didn't pay for my library fines for returning books late, which kind of makes me happy. Et finalement, je voudrais juste terminer cette vidéo en français parce que j'aimerais bien savoir si j'ai une personnalité différente quand je parle français. Et euh, c'est parce que c'est quelque chose dont je voudrais vraiment vous parler dans ma prochaine vidéo. Bon bah voilà, je vous fais plein 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 de gros bisous. That was so French. Ok, bye